Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and day two of the pre-CES events has come to a close. I say pre because the show actually doesn't start till tomorrow. So let me tell you a little bit about what I did today real fast. So for most of the day, at least in the morning and the afternoon, I spent the day shopping, tech shopping. So Mike Panetta and I uh, hit a couple of the local tech shops. We actually hit the Apple store first, where let me show you what I picked up. I picked up these, the Bose QC15s. These are acoustic noise canceling headphones. These are the limited edition version. Uh, they are brown. And I tried them out in the hotel room briefly when we got back. And my God, they are incredible. They are ridiculous when it comes to noise canceling. When I put these on and activated the noise canceling feature, I literally couldn't hear a thing that was going on around me. It was so cool. They isolate everything away and you can literally just hear what's going on. Uh, you know, I had the air condition running in my room and as soon as I flipped the switch, it was like it just disappeared. Now these were $2.99, which is not cheap, but I've always wanted to try them out and I can't wait to check them out for the plane ride home. So I picked up those. We hit the Apple store, like I said, and then uh, Mike and I went to a place where I've always wanted to go to and that's Fry's. Uh, it's almost indescribable, the place, if you've never been to it. Uh, Mike described it as Best Buy on steroids, and I think that's uh, pretty accurate. It's enormous, and they have every tech accessory that you might imagine. I ended up just picking up a couple um, of little things, but it was kind of, like I said, a bucket list thing. I always wanted to check out fries, so I'm really uh, glad I had a chance to do that. So let's get on to what happened tonight, and that was Digital Experience. Again, this is a pre-CES event. Uh, sponsored by Pepcom, kind of like a mini show. There were a, a, a good deal of people there, probably about 200 different companies. Again, more intimate, small. So for starters, I first chatted with Steel Series, and they are marketing what they're calling the first iOS game controller uh, to be marketed out there. And it's um, going to be available right now. It's a Bluetooth controller that works um, with... Uh, right now, about 400 games and applications, and eventually, hopefully, all iOS. Um, it is available, I should say, for pre-order today. It sells for 99 bucks. It has a 10-hour rechargeable battery. Uh, it's going to be in Apple stores soon as well. It works with a lot of games, Grand Theft Auto being one. Pretty neat. Nice and small and portable. has this like protective cover on it, but uh, should be pretty slick once it's actually released. Then I had a chance to talk to Piper. Now Piper makes this kind of all-in-one home automation camera Z-Wave uh, unit that is Wi-Fi connectable. So you set it up in your house and it is a camera that you can view on your Android or iOS device. So you can like pan around with it and see what's going on in your house. But you can also hook up all kinds of Z-Wave devices. So things like lights that you can control or door locks. You can set up alarms and alerts to go along with these. It has a siren so it can actually act as an alarm for you if you want. Uh, pretty neat. It sells for about $239 and um, comes in black and white. It also has a microphone and speaker built in so you can have, hear what's going on and uh, talk to people on the other end as well. Pretty neat. Uh, ne next, I had a chance to speak to the folks at Anchor and they hooked me up with a sample of this guy right here. This is a 40 watt, five port USB wall charger. Crazy, 40 watts. So I've seen you know, these USB chargers for the wall that have like four or five ports in them, but whenever I try to hook up, let's say more than one or two iPhones, they always time out and the third phone is not able to charge. Well, this has 40 watts, so theoretically I should be able to charge five iPhones at one time. Um, in a real world, maybe two iPads and two iPhones all at the same time. It also has this smart uh, technology built in where it can tell what device is plugged in and set the charge rate accordingly based on that device. Pretty neat and uh, it should be out fairly soon, I'm, I'm guessing. I didn't get a price on it yet, but uh, I'll have a review of it when I get back. Finally, I had a chance to speak to the people at Oloclip, and they hooked me up with a bunch of samples, as you can see. Most of this stuff is uh, all stuff that's currently available. They hooked me up with their case for the iPhone 5 and 5S. That comes in white, black, and I think clear. They hooked me up with the macro 3-in-1 lens for the iPhone 5 and 5S. This is actually a new item. It has two different macro lenses. Crazy cool, I should say, three different macro lenses. Seven times, 14 times, and 21 times. Crazy cool. I saw it being demoed. That is actually a new item. And then the two in the back have been out, uh, out for a little while. This is the telephoto lens for the 5 and 5S, and then this is their 4-in-1. 
The other new item that I got to see from Oloclip is their 4-in-1 for the iPad, and that should be out relatively soon, sometime in Q2, I believe, in the next two months, I think they said. Uh, and that will be the same price as the 4-in-1 uh, and then have the same lenses but work with the iPad Air, the iPad 4, the iPad Mini, and the iPad Mini with a retina display. So pretty cool stuff from Oloclip. So that was my day. You can uh, imagine it was jam-packed. I hit a bunch of restaurants, too. We went to In-N-Out In -Out Burger. We went to my favorite breakfast place here in Vegas, uh, Hash House of Go-Go. If you've never been there, I totally recommend you checking it out for breakfast while you're in town. I actually just got back from dinner myself, and uh, tomorrow the show starts. So I hope you guys are doing great out there. I plan for a lot of coverage tomorrow at the show, so stay tuned, and I will see you all real soon. Have a great rest of your day.